So we left the shores of Loch Ness and headed south because there was a few things that we wanted to watch on the, or go and see on the Hart 200 route. So we're going to come back down the east side of that. Um, and we looking for somewhere to park up for the evening. Had a hunt round on park for night, sort of somewhere sort of in between sort of Aviemore and where we want to get to. And we found this one. And to be perfectly honest, can't get much better than this. What a view to wake up to. Yeah, it's stunning, isn't it? What a view this is to wake up to tomorrow morning. Nothing but us, the odd walker and sheep. I think there's another van that's parked up there for the night down there as well. A little bit of a river down here as well. Yeah. This is proper wild camping this. This is what it's all about. planning on getting up nice and early to see what kind of wildlife is floating about and if we catch anything I'll see if I can get it on video for you guys right time for a cup of tea and plan what we're doing tomorrow see you guys later morning right cracking night sleep at this little park up here uh, it's on a single track lane up from a little village called Newton Moor uh, just off the A9, you'll find it on park for night. It's a, it's a stunning little park up. Um, got out the van this morning, bright and early, and there were a three deer, literally 50 yards from the back of the van. I did try to film them. Um, hopefully, if I did manage to get them, I'll stick that on with this video as well. Uh, they were brilliant. That, that was brilliant. That really was. Right, uh, plan for day is we're going to start, well, we're going to continue to head south and we're going to Blair Castle this morning and, and we'll pick you up there.
lived in Blair Athol in Highland Perthshire. Cracking little car park here. Uh, quite clearly states no overnight parking, but we won't be parking here overnight anyway. Uh, looks like it's free to park. I can't see any parking stuff, but we'll check in the information centre in a bit. Uh, here we've got... Uh, there is a small museum, by the looks of it. This is a park up. We've stuck ourselves in the corner out of the way. Um, pizza and fish and chip shop. Post office. Visitor information centre. The castle is just back up the road a little bit so you can walk there quite easily from here bit of an information board here with lots and lots of info on the area yes Athol Castle the Athol High Highlanders are the only private army in Europe hmm might have to go and have a look at that Castle looks rather nice, so we'll go and have a look at that light in a bit. Red squirrels in this area as well. Plenty of places to go and have a bite to eat if you fancy it. There's one there, the Blair Athol Watermelon Tea Room. Might have to go and have Elevenses there. Uh, what else we've got here? Yeah, we've got Blair Castle and Gardens, Diana's Grove and Hercules Garden, and the Athol Estates. So, plenty to do for the day here before we go and find our next park up for the evening. Right, we'll catch you when we find something interesting to look at. Am I going to get through there? Yeah, you are. Alright, what shall we do the gardens? Yeah, we'll just yeah, do we'll the do gardens. The gardens. Hello. Hello, baby. Morning. <laughs> Only just. Only just, yes. Oh, let's get around again. Oh dear. Well, is there castle and gardens for you today? Uh, we'll do the gardens. Just today. the gardens. gardens. Okay. Now your ticket still includes a ten percent voluntary donation, which we use for castle conservation. Yeah. Are you all right with that? I am more than happy yeah. with that. Do you do gift aid, sir? Are you a UK taxpayer? Yes, I am. Do you do gift aid? I course? do. Perfect. Thank yeah. you. And it wouldn't be Scotland without someone playing the bagpipes. Or as they call them in Germany, Doodlezack. <laughs> So, Diana's Grove. This Grove of Wilderness, set out in 1737, takes its name from the statue of Diana, the Roman goddess of hunting. Diana is placed near the centre of the grove with walks radiating out from her, one in line with the front door of the castle. The grove is ren renowned for its exotic conifers, introduced from all over the world, particularly America, and now amongst the tallest examples of their kind in Britain. Some of the first European larch to grow in this country were planted here by the second Duke of Athol in the 1730s, and the seventh Duke continued the tradition by introducing Japanese larch in 1884. He also replaced the statue of Diana after it was shattered in the Great Storm of 1893 and replanted much of the grove. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a mooch in there then. Find the fairy doors. Ooh. Look up, down, and all around, and follow the magic. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, something for the kids. 
but we'll enjoy it. <laughs> okay. I know you do. You're a little bit of a big kid, aren't you? Uh -huh. What? Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, I can see why they say... Is that grand fair? Yeah, that's quite tall. Yeah. And someone nailed a fairy door to it. I know. Number 87. Right, let's see how many of these fairy doors we can find. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these these firs are tall, aren't they? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Evening. Right, had a lovely day up at Blair Castle, didn't we? Walking around the gardens. Glorious weather. It looks as though it was going to be a little bit meh first thing because it was a bit misty and overcast, but then it burnt off and it was red hot. And I think I've caught the sun. <laughs> yeah. I'm a little bit red around the edges. Uh, it was uh, very, very warm and those gardens were lovely. Did get plenty of footage, so I'll put a little bit on. <coughs> this video at some point um like said, we found that we found another park up in a place called bank bankfoot bankfoot yeah bankfoot it's basically a service station with um a restaurant takeaway and shop that's called it taste perthshire we nipped into the shop we found it on park for night but we nipped into the shop and just made sure we could park the night dead friendly staff in there absolutely brilliant yeah no problems whatsoever so you can park the night so we're not the only motor home there's one behind us or there's two behind us and german ones just pulled in so we're not the only ones stopping here overnight um and we've planned for the restaurant opens at eight o'clock tomorrow morning for a full scottish breakfast so we're going to treat ourselves to a full scottish breakfast tomorrow morning and then we're going to head off to our next destination because we've just worked out what we're doing tomorrow we're going to have a nice day basically 
looking at wildlife and stuff that the Loch Leven Nature Reserve which is down near Kinross so we're going to go in there and the good thing is what well, it kills two birds with one stone because that gives us something to do all day and you can park there for the night as well and parking all day and all night costs eight quid so that's a winner so that's what we're going to do tomorrow um so in the meantime as you can see siska's busily crafting away uh, that's a relaxed point um i'm doing a bit of editing and downloading stuff onto the laptop to sort out the videos that are coming up from this trip um so we'll uh, catch you tomorrow